A romance born of desperation is really not a romance at all. So on today's case, Ms. Douglas says that Mr. Wheeler came into her life when she was in a very vulnerable situation, but that he has used that power imbalance to lie to her, cheat on her, and control her. Mr. Wheeler says that showing tough love is not the same thing as being controlling, especially when you're doing it for the other person's own good. Ms. Douglas says she's been weighing her options and the scale is tipping toward a new life as a single woman. Oh, let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Douglas versus Wheeler. Thank you very much. Ms. Douglas, you say you are here because your partner is controlling, embarrassing, and disrespectful of your relationship. You say the thought of leaving this relationship really does break your heart. But if Mr. Wheeler's toxic and controlling ways don't stop, it may force you to move on. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wheeler, you say you're here to save your relationship, but Ms. Douglas needs to work on her own communication skills and show more appreciation for what you do for her. You say her erratic behavior is the reason you are really controlling. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. You all have been together for three years, engaged for one year. Ms. Douglas, you have uh, one child, and Mr. Wheeler, you have five children. Five. Okay. All right, then. Why are we here today, Ms. Douglas? Well, we're here today because my fiancé is controlling, embarrassing, and disrespectful. Mm. I am tired of all the arguing, and I am fed up with what we have going on. I am done with this. I am fed up, and I'm over it. You over it. Mr. Wheeler, what's your side? Basically, I want to save this relationship. I want everything to go right. I want to marry this woman. And we got to work on it. Like, she got to understand I'm going to have my flaws and she going to have her flaws, too. Mm-hmm. You're talking about acting like an adult, basically. Pretty much. Okay. Uh, Ms. Douglas, I'm going to give you your shot because I want to know what actually brings you into court today. Yes, Your Honor. Well, I started off, uh, me and Damien, we had, I was pregnant and I had a miscarriage. I actually lost the baby because oh, I'm I, so sorry. I lost a lot of family members during that time. I lost my mom, my grandma, and my stepfather. Oh, I year. know that was really tough. And I feel like the stress took it, took it over, overpowered what I have going on. So at that time, I feel like he took advantage of that. How did Mr. Wheeler then take advantage of you? Because um, I imagine he was there for you, right? Well, yes, Your Honor, he was there for me, but he also was taking control of me because of my vulnerability. At that time, I was going through a lot. I ended up getting evicted. Evicted from your home? Yes, ma'am. What happened after you got evicted? Where'd you go? Well, Damien Dim found us an apartment, and oh. I moved in with him. And then I feel like that's when the control started. Like, it went overboard when I moved in with him. Here's an example. Okay. Okay. I ended up supposed to be going to a bar with my friend, mm -hmm. but we were actually going to the bar, and she wanted to stop at the barbershop to get her, her eyebrows arched, but I didn't call and tell him that, that we you were making a stop, there. okay? Yes. So she ended up going live on Facebook, and he saw the live, and he started to call my phone. Mm -hmm. During that time, I mean, the barbershop was crowded with a lot of people, so I didn't want to feel like we were. I was arguing in front of all those people, so I kind of like hung up the phone on him. But you, but but I imagine, and I'm going to come to you, Mr. Willie. You were angry what? because you thought she was at one place, and you, she ends up at another she place. She told me she was going to the bar for some drinks, not the barber shop. But what was wrong with her being in the barber shop? Why'd you react like that? The fact that we were texting all this time. We was texting basically a nice percentage of time, and then she stopped answering me. Oh, so you think when she was at the barber shop, she left that out of the narrative because she didn't want you to know? Yes. Why didn't you I want thought. him to know, ma'am? I didn't tell him because he always reacts that way when I'm at, whenever I'm around men. Ah, so, that's what the problem is. You he, were at a location he, that only had men in it. Yes, Your Honor. And you left that out of your narrative because you knew that your man at home would not be happy that you were rolling up in a spot where it's only men. Is that correct? 
Yes, Your Honor. If it wasn't nothing wrong with it in her mind, why would she not tell me that? Yeah, because... I'm um, at the barbershop. She went and got her eyebrows arched. We still going for drinks. Your this Honor, easy, I just simple. didn't feel like I needed to exclude, ex express him to that because I didn't feel like we would be there long. I just feel like she was going to get her eyebrows arched. But the, and the, was another that time, okay. like, I went to the dollar store. I was supposed to be going... Actually, Ooh. I went to go pay the light bill. I love the dollar and store. And he... Like I said, he always wants me to call him and give him whatever direction I'm going or however how I give him the amount. So you of feel like you are being on a um, leash yes, with yes, your Honor. Mr. Wheeler. That's and what I, it is. And I, I didn't like tell him on. that I was going to another store during that time. And when I got home, well, he, ca he called my phone while I was in line, and he kept calling the phone, and I didn't answer because I had items in my hand. He calls a lot within a short period of time. Okay, Mr. So, Wheeler, why were you so concerned when she was going to the dollar store? What happened? I'm going to the dollar store. It's an hour. It's time behind stuff. I can't do it. I cannot do it. Your Honor, one, he's controlling because, like, one time... Here's another example. Lord! It's another example. I went out with my friends. We went out having girls' night, having fun, enjoying ourselves at the club. And I just so happened to look up and I see Damien in the club. I'm dancing and he was behind me, like, out the blue, like, all of a sudden. I don't know where he came from. She just crazy, like, she done bleached my clothes and everything. Whoa, what are you talking about? Your, she bleached your, your clothes. Your honor, he ruins everything. Man, he ruined the cookout. We had look a at this. cookout at our house. Y'all see this? Y'all see this? I paid money for this, man. Like, she ain't gave me nothing back on this. Like, this if ain't all of it. My almost my whole wardrobe. So, what wait, I mean, do, do me a favor, Robert. <laughs> yeah. Hold those up for me, real quick. I was reading his messages, and him and this girl that I asked him about previously, did I see they, inter they kept messaging each other. So I asked them if they have any type of relationship, and he told me no. So while I'm, I'm continuing to read his messages, days passed by, and he ends up sending because her a sex tape. Because it can... Huh? So what wait, I mean, do, do me a favor, Robert. <laughs> yeah. Hold those up for me real quick. All right. I would never, if you had not told me, known that that, that bleach <laughs> did that to the pants. Because the um, pants are wacky and fun looking. Your arm. I thought the bleach part was a design in the jeans. I had no idea. That is bleach. She thought I was texting and flirting with someone. You will she get asked that. Me, mm -hmm. She asked me who it was, and I said, it's a girl, but we were only doing the messages. The Facebook, uh, it, it was on iMessage games. It was on iMessage, text message. You know, the iMessage games. Right, of play pool and all of that, yeah. Um, so, so that means you did a tit for tat because he ticked you off. You pleased tit his for clothes. Tatly, you broke my phone, right? Uh, and then, you broke my phone. And right? then why'd you Out break the phone? I broke his phone because he all, he's always in his phone texting and saying he's playing iMessage games with girls. It's never men that he's playing the iMessage games with. So has he given you a reason to think that he's disrespecting your relationship? Yes, Your Honor. What has he done? I was reading his messages, and him and this girl that I asked him about previously, did I see they, inter they kept messaging each other, so I asked him if they have any type of relationship, and he told me no. So while I'm, I'm continuing to read his messages, days passed by, and he ends up sending because her a sex tape. Because it can... Huh? Yes, a sex tape with those two involved. It was him and her in the sex tape. So I downloaded it, and I sent it to him. While you in the middle of a relationship, did you make a sex tape with another woman? Did you? Yeah, I missed her. How, Your Honor, how stupid could that be? You record yourself cheating. But he also proposed to me with the fake ring. He gave me the ring, and my finger started... Well, actually, the ring started to change colors, and my finger did, too. Well, how... What, okay, so he gave you a fake yes, ring. Yes, he gave me a fake ring, Your Honor. To, uh, to, as a an engagement ring. ring? Yes, as an engagement ring. And how'd you know it was fake? Because it started to change colors, and oh, I thought sure my did. finger did, too. I'm looking at it. It sure did. And it was not real. No, ma'am, it wasn't real. 
Are you and sure? And after I confronted him about the ring, he gave me a, he decided to buy me a new one. But I'm not sure if this ring is real either. So I, I'm here today to see if my ring is real. And if this ring is fake, I'm done with this relationship. That's oh. the end for me. Mr. Wheeler? I got the fake ring or whatever, but the thing is, what is it about the ring? Like, this material things. But, well, but my she love is if I'm kind of trying to commit myself and stamp myself at this point, I didn't, wasn't making good money, but I'm still trying to make that commitment. I'm so making did a little you, more did, money did, now. Did you, got another ring. Did, you say like... to, did you say to your now fiance, I need to get my money right, but I'm gonna ask you to wear this because I am committed to you and this is not real, but you'll get a real one another time. Did you tell that to her, or no, did you he lead did her to not, believe Your Honor. that it was real? No, no I just, I, it was, I, all I was thinking was the thought and the commitment that I'm trying to give, I just, I left that out. Yeah, and, but I'm not sure if this one is real. I well, don't know. Let me he tell you me something. The best before. part about bringing something in court is I can test it for you. I got a diamond tester. I, I mean, the difference so, is, you know, I have the ring. Real versus fake. Robert, will you please? Whatever, I'm sure. leaving. If this ring is not real, Same. it's the end for me. Here you go. Sure. Give me another chance. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Yeah, and but I'm not sure if this one is real. I well, don't know. Let me he tell you something. The best before. part about bringing something in court is I can test it for you. Oh, you can? Oh, absolutely. Well, that's what I want to do today, I, because if I it's fake, got, then... I got a... Yeah, uh, it's over with. I got a diamond... I'm out. ...tester. I, I mean, the difference see, is, see, you know... I have the ring. Real versus fake. Okay, Robert, will you come and assist me, please? Sure. Wait, did Chris give you a fake ring? Nah. Okay. I bought this myself anyway. <laughs> Ooh, I see it. Oh, thank God. That means it's real. <laughs> oh. That's what it does well, when I it's hope real. I hear a beep, but if it's not a beep, <laughs> then I'm walking out on my feet. Whatever. Robert, will you please? Whatever, I'm sure. leaving. If you this ring is not real, Same this is the end going. for me. Here you go. You sure. Give me another chance. This is what you want. Mm -hmm. Fake ring, again. It's cubic. Again, it's cubic zirconia. This, this is it. This, this is it for me. Never said like, it was a diamond no, ring. No, you, it's you didn't tell me zirconia. it was fake either. You it's never said that the zirconia. ring was fake. It's cubic zirconia. You didn't zirconia. tell me the ring is fake. This is the second it's fake cubic ring you gave. Zirconia. Me. Should I put it back on my finger or give it it's to you? It's cubic zirconia. Cubic zirconia. But you didn't tell me it was cubic zirconia. All I know is you was in. It's cubic zirconia. That's a diamond tester. Can I give him this ring back? Because I don't want it. Robert retrieved the wing. Sure. I just, sorry. I needed to make sure mine was right. <laughs> 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 well, we all know mine is. What well, sister need to do what she need to do? I paid a decent amount for it, I mean. So you were saying it's the thought that counts. From the first ring, this ring here, I paid some money for this one. And did How you... much money did he pay? It's not I real. You know what? Now price. You know what, Miss Douglas? You say Mr. Wheeler is controlling yeah, I mean, and disrespectful. Matter. Yes, Your Honor. Uh huh. Yeah, you believe matter. that he has cheated on you? Well, you do have the sex tape to prove well, that. Yes, I did. And he's that. confessed. You felt trapped at one point living with him because he is the breadwinner. Yes. Yes. Um, but you financially this stable. This went off. The wedding is off. Yes, the wedding is off. The engagement and everything. Because the ring is fake. What, how, what, we're going to have a fake wedding? But wait a minute. What the what does that, that mean? ring means something it's to you. That, that represented that you thought he was serious. I, yeah, I thought. But I feel like if you're going to give me something fake, I, I guess the relationship is fake. You the one I want to be with. You. Nobody else. It's a ring. This ring don't mean nothing. Well, if it's just the ring, then why didn't you just get married without the ring? 
And why would you give me a fake one? You know, Mr. Wheeler, you say you wanted to save the relationship, and you do want to get married, which is why you gave her a ring. Fake or not, you shouldn't let her believe that it's real when it's not. Cause but that's... look at the judgment. I beg your pardon? She thinking it was wrong, it was fake anyway. Even yeah, it, after you gave I me a fake something. one the first time. If you hadn't gave me the fake one the first time, I would have never thought that. I would have assumed <laughs> it was real. Okay. Because that one didn't change colors. I know. It's a pretty Because it's real silver this time. That's why. Oh. Well, it's very pretty, but well, it's clearly you. not what she wants. Mr. Wheeler, no. you said you want wanted... real. You want to be able to trust Ms. Douglas and you want her to learn to communicate and appreciate you. But y'all have caused damage in your relationship, both of y'all. You know that, right? Both of y'all yeah. has caused damage in this relationship. You know, now the engagement is in jeopardy or, as Ms. Douglas said, the engagement is off. But yes. I'm not sure that the two of you are willing to put in the work that's going to be necessary to build a foundation of trust and love and hopes and dreams and all the stuff that a real marriage is made for. You're not a good girlfriend. You're not a good boyfriend. You're not a good friend to each other. You lie. You're sneaky. You cheat. That's a real shaky foundation to build a marriage on. I always say trust is the actual earth of a relationship that's going to work because then you pour everything else into it. You need the seeds of kindness, the seeds of forgiveness, the seeds of trust. You need the seed of commitment. You need all of that in the ground. And your foundation is shaky as a mug. And the way you grow those seeds is you have to water it. Then you have to nurture the relationship. You have to treat people with respect. You have to listen. You have to tell her how you feel about what's going on. And all this tit for tat, that's really childish. And it's insulting to people who really do love each other. One thing I know for certain, you're not ready to get married. Not to each other. I know that to be for certain. So you can keep that ring that she gave you. And whether or not you end up getting back together or not, I have no idea. But what I can say to you, Mr. Wheeler, is when it's the right woman for you and you come to that woman with a whole self with no need to tit for tat and sneak around and no need to sneak through phones and check on them at the bar or the barbershop, then you'll know. You'll absolutely know. And I'm gonna tell you something, Ms. Douglas, when you get exactly what you want, you'll know. But don't look a good man in the face and expect him to trust you if you act untrustworthy. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, Your Honor. Both of y'all have caused problems and damage in this relationship. I don't know if it's worth fighting for, but I know for certain you're not ready to be a married couple because a married couple has to build a foundation of trust. Y'all don't have that. Second fake ring you gave me. I didn't say it was time. Okay, but I didn't know that. You could have game told me that. So like, what, what we doing? Like, are we having fake relationships? No. You know that actually made me sad because I thought the ring was very sweet and very sentimental. Um, and it's really not about how much money you spend on a ring, or even if you give a ring. Right. But you just have to be honest with exactly. each other. If he would have just said, you know, I got you, this is a symbol. And, you know, she should have understood if he did that. But it didn't help that she had the green ring first. No, that, <laughs> no. You turn my hand green one time, they're not getting married. No. Let's hope.